For three days, soldiers, family members, and neighbors of Fort Hood have mourned the dead. Tragedies happen. In this community, we've had our fair share. Worked to heal the wounded and prayed for strength to forgive. We pray for Major Hassan's family. In a place accustomed to painful send-offs and joyous homecomings, time here seems to have slowed to a crawl as the community searches for answers. How could this happen, you know? What was going on, what happened? But one of the worst weeks in this post's history is finally drawing to a close, and the Army must look forward. Preparations for war continue. If anybody had been armed, I think they would have tried to at least shoot back at him. For Corporal Nathan Hewitt, among those shot in Thursday's attack, the future lies in Iraq. He's set to deploy in January and hopes his injuries don't delay that. Go to the side. For military families, taking care packages to victims of the shootings today, the future means lending a shoulder to those who need it. Oh, this is what the Army's about. So when something like this happens, um, you get immediate emails, phone calls, deliveries. People are driving up from across the country. And for the extended Army family around Fort Hood. My prayers goes out to the families um, that lost. The future means trying to move on from tragedy. Don Teague, CBS News, Fort Hood, Texas.